It's the story. One day the evil mist threw the prison out of order and covered the world with darkness. Oh. Since then, it has been dark, and the people have lived uneasily, not knowing how to wake the sleeping morning. But, there was a witch named Cotton who didn't care about anything but Willows. Oh, okay. Well, she's called Cotton, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The Willows are like the sweets she likes. I mean, so, uh, this little fairy, I think, is called Silk. But yeah, Cotton is like, she just like, doesn't give two fucks, really. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, already cartoony. It's definitely, uh... Definitely going for the cartoony factor. Oh, hey! I've not listened to this version... This version before. Okay, so you've got... It's like standard kind of Gradius controls. Um... Um, but... If you hold on to... Um... Whoa, whoa, if you hold on to one of your attacks, so your bomb, or your shot, you can fire a magic spell, or you can shoot silk here at the enemies. So yeah, and if you pick up the kind of gems... Oh god. <laughs> you pick up the gems that drops, so you can either level up, so there's like some light RPG elements, or you can get a spell. Um, the... Uh, but the blue one is that, <laughs> and the, uh, the red one is like a more direct damage dealer, like a big dragon snake thing. But yeah, you kind of want to be leveling up and keeping a stock of magic for the bosses and such. So, you know, you can kind of... It's kind of cool that you can pick, you know. Oh my god. Has this game always been this hard or am I just terrible? To be fair, I've always remembered this been pretty, pretty tough. But yeah, as you level up your... Uh, your basic shot powers up. But you know, some interesting trade-offs. And also just the kind of backgrounds and character um like monster design I guess is So this guy always reminds me of uh like the volcanoes in Gradius. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you you, you drink lots of tea. <laughs> I'm not sure how this got like a US release. It's pretty Japanese. It's, it's like incredibly Japanese. that made this game's, uh, they're a company called Success. Yeah. Oddly enough, they've had very little success. <laughs> um, and now I think they're doomed to, uh, punchy slots, I think they're called. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, they don't really make video games anymore. They're, they're more in the gambling trade, if they even still exist, which they possibly don't. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool. I like these guys. Uh, so, um, I've been failing to hit these freaks, but you want to be uh, killing them for points and profit <laughs> in general. Oddly enough, I think the first version of this I played was um, for the, you know, the the definitive Japanese retro computer, the uh, X uh, X sixty eight K. Oh my god, this guy is incredibly annoying. Stay here. God, seriously? I'm awful. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely, uh, you know, a cuteness factor in this. Like, this, this main bad guy is kind of cool, you know. If he would die. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of the, the cool things about the CD games back in these times is... Like in the 90s, I guess. You know, obviously the, the soundtracks are always pretty cool. But they tend to be like ripping guitar solos as well. So it's like, <laughs> if you want to listen to some kind of uh, synthy guitar -y, Kind of 90s as hell music. It's, it's kind of pretty good. <laughs> oh, that was that was a mistake. I don't think I've ever been good at this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, these zombies are cool. Oh god, I thought I got him. But this game really suffers from the uh, kind of. Um, Oh god, seriously? From the kind of like, uh, I want to say, radius. Um, try again. Oh no, not back from the start. It really suffers from the kind of like, radius. If you don't have enough power-ups, this section is going to be incredibly difficult. Thing. Which most shoot 'em ups kind of suffer from, to some degree, of, of this era. Um, I mean, this was originally an arcade game, so it's <laughs> it's kind of built into the design. Oh, check it out! I've got another another um, fairy. That's cool. And it does. I mean, if if you can one credit uh, a shoot 'em up. You've probably sunk a lot of time into into it, you know. It's you kind of don't get that so much nowadays, which is a shame, really. Well, it is a shame. It's also kind of not a shame because you know, it's incredible. This is uh, incredibly hard. <laughs> Oh yeah, I find that a little bit disconcerting. Uh, if you've got like an extra fairy um, when you die, the extra fairy will like run in and kind of suicide. <laughs> they just explode. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. If, uh, yeah, if you've only got one, I guess that's uh, the main fairy. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, the Cotton series is pretty successful for 
success. Um, there's quite a lot of sequels. Most of the sequels are really good, actually. Like, um, even if you like this game, I guess, <laughs> which I um, I'm finding oddly frustrating right now. I'll be honest. But it's, you know, it, it's got its own charm. It's not, like, as wacky as something like Herodias. But it's, um... It's still, like, got its own kind of weird style. Um, I mean, those clouds, particularly, and, you know, you're fighting little zombies, that's cool. I guess uh, the only thing you can kind of compare this to would be... Uh, oh, seriously? Would be... Um, the... Cave Shooter uh, Death Smiles. Um, again, that's kind of like... Witches fighting monsters. Um, oh, oh, okay, I made it. Yeah, this guy. This guy's like head comes off and stuff. Or catches or something. The spine kind of comes out, I think. But yeah, Death Smiles is, is pretty cool. I haven't properly put time into it though. But um Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> it's kinda of pretty cool. Um Oh god. So yeah, that's cotton. Um I would recommend people pick up the Saturn cotton games and also play the Genesis one. Um Panorama Cotton Panorama Cotton, I think it is. Which is like a rail shooter. Um and you know, does some really cool things, especially with the Mega Drive hardware. So uh, yeah, worth worth looking at. Definitely worth uh, worth five minutes of anyone's time, I'd say. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Let's move on. To